Yes, it's me, Marty. Are you all right? Something happened. Hello, guys. My name is Biscuit and welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm very happy to have you here, especially for the second part of Back to the Future. You guys really loved my reaction to um, the first movie. And I have to admit, I was a little bit nervous. Every time I'm reacting to like a classic or a cult movie, I'm always nervous because, you know, I don't know a lot of American culture or a lot of American sayings or anything like that so I always feel like I am gonna like mess it up or I'm gonna say something out of line or anything like this but it seems like you guys were super cool about it and you really really enjoyed it and I guess seeing these movies from a European perspective that definitely didn't grow up uh, with these times that this type of movies seems to be entertaining so Let's continue with the series and let's continue having some fun with it. If you like this reaction, you want to see the full length reaction, I do have a Patreon, you can check it up. The link is in the description below. Um, the videos are posted in advance, way before they are here on YouTube. So if you're impatient like I am, that might be the solution to these reactions. Again, it's a great way to support as well the channel. Um, if you want to see more of me, I'm a Twitch streamer. That means I go live on Twitch, I play video games, I talk, I organize events. It's a good community there as well. So if you want to visit us, again, description. And um, if you want to support the channel a little bit more, a comment and a like, always super appreciated help with the algorithm, help with the channel growth. And if you haven't subscribed by now, maybe consider that as well. Got some water, you guys grab some snacks. I do not eat while I react because my mic is crazy sensible, sensitive. I don't know the difference between these two. Um, and you, I, do, I don't do ASMR. So if you guys are ready, I'm ready. I'm just gonna like, and let's go. Saturday, October 26th. Oh yes, Jennifer. You're acting like you haven't seen me in a week. I haven't. I remember they changed the actress, right? It's not the same actress. Marty! You've got to come back with me. Concerns her, too. Wait a minute, Doc. What are you talking about? Now, what happens to us in the future? Oh, no, 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 no. You, you and Jennifer both turn out fine. It's your kids, Marty. Something's got to be done about your kids. All right, well, the kids are messing up, I guess. This poor guy probably just has his mind blown right now. Are you gonna... What the hell is going on here? Are, are you gonna go s scream aliens? Back to the future part two. Cab. Where are we? When are we? Lee, California. At 4.29 p.m. on Wednesday, October 21st, 2050. Future, Marty, what do you mean? How can we be in the future? You're in a time machine. And this is the year 2050. Guys, I'm in 2024. Doc, now you said we were married, right? Uh, yeah. Uh... Doc, what the hell are you doing? Relax, Marty. She was asking too many questions. She was asking too many questions. You <laughs> should know too much about their future. Well, I guess we take her out. Hill Valley, welcome. Golden Hillson. Oh my god. This looks like a sci fi London area. No offense to the Brits. Excuse me. I went to a rejuvenation clinic and got a whole natural overhaul. 30 or 40 years to my life. What do you think? You're. Beautiful. You look great, Doc. I gotta check this out, Doc. Well, in good time, Marty. We're on a tight schedule here. Take off the shirt. Put on the jacket and the shoes. Footwear from Nike. Mm. I find it fascinating the way they imagine imagine the future would look like. Oh, precisely on schedule. Oh my God, Marty was a loser. I remember these shoes are so nice. Wow, they are cool. I would wear this. Like, I would legit wear this right now. They are so cool. Look at him, cyberpunkish. Okay. The hell? This thing doesn't fit. I'm adjusting fit. Pull out your pants pockets. Perfect. You're the spinning image of your future son. 
What? Help me move Jennifer over here. The 80s. It's one of those nostalgia places. We're not done very well. Go in and order a Pepsi. Here's a 50. A Pepsi? And wait for a guy named Griff. Right. Griff's gonna ask you about tonight. Are you in or out? Tell him you are out. Did he just say that it's 50 for a Pepsi? I don't get it. I, I thought you said this had something to do with my kids. Look what happens to your son. Youth jail. Was tried, convicted, and sentenced to 15 years in the state penitentiary within two hours? The system works swiftly in the future now that they've abolished all lawyers. No lawyers. Wait, this is tomorrow's newspaper. Precisely. Everything to this one event. That's why we're here today, to prevent this incident from ever happening. All right. Well, I guess he's really invested into making his family rebound. Rebounds. Hey, what, what about Jennifer? We're not just going to leave her here. Don't worry, she'll be safe. It'll just be for a few minutes. Be careful around that Griff character. He's got a few short circuits in his bionic implants. Bionic implants? Okay, all right, all right. Anyway, I find it so fascinating the way they thought 2015 would be like. This time is really, really personal. <laughs> That's cool. That's actually cool. That's actually very cool. Welcome to the cafe where it's always morning in America. Someone fired this guy's uh, injector. This is botched. Hey, McFly! Oh, the guy! The, the bully! You're Marty McFly's kid, aren't you? Beth? You're Marty Jr. Must be rough being named after a complete butthead. What's that supposed to mean? Hello? Hey. Hello, anybody home? Your old man? Mr. Loser? What? Your old man? Marty McFly Sr.? Okay. The man who took his life and flushed it completely down the toilet? Oh my god, I thought he actually took his life. Hey, Gramps! Two coats of wax on my car, not just one. With your eyes closed? Are you two related? Yes, for sure. Hello? Anybody home? What do you think? Griff just called me Grandpa for his health? He's Griff. I would take the stick and beat you both with it. I'm a fly. Don't go anywhere. You're next. Okay, I guess the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. I'm a crack shot at this. <laughs> Your hands? That's like a baby's toy. I guess they use VR and stuff like that, so probably this is kinda lame for the new generation. Damn, Pepsi. Have you made a decision about tonight's opportunity? I'm not sure because I just think, you know, it might be a little bit dangerous. So. What's wrong, you fly? It's uh, gross. Oh! It's a complete wimp. Yeah, I wanted to say as well, but I didn't want to use the word wimp. Just stay down and shut up. Yeah. Oh, the look. Let's hear the right answer. Punch him in the wow. face. Violence. The answer is no, Griff. What are you, deaf and stupid? Yeah, he is. He's definitely stupid. Chicken! Don't fall for the chicken chicken. Oh my god. It's me. Yeah! In the jewels! Look, I need to borrow your... Board? A hoverboard! Nice. Oh my god, that's so cool. I, I, I actually wish we would have these things. That would be amazing. That, that's amazing. <laughs> He's doing the same like he did, but with his skateboard. Very familiar about all Yeah, for sure. In the water, in the water. Hey, McFly, you bojo! Don't burst all work on water! They said that this guy had some uh, bolts missing from his head and there for sure. But I love the whole cyberpunk thematic. Oh, God! You know who, re who re he reminds me of? If you guys, if you watched uh, Grandma's, Grandma's Boy, there is the, the guy there, the villain. Yep. I think it would have been better to be arrested for uh, for being a thief. Drying mode on. Your jacket is now dry. Hey, it's actually kind of cool. Girl, thanks. Keep it. I got it. 
pit bull now. <laughs> yeah, keep the chihuahua. I should go to the pit bull. Will you help save the clock tower? Uh, no. Sorry, no. Wait a minute. Cubs win World Series. I wish I could go back to the beginning of the season, put some money on the Cubs. I just meant Miami. I said I wish I could go back to the beginning of the season, put some money on the Cubbies. Some betting, some cash making. This has an interesting feature. It has a dust jacket. Books used to have these to protect the covers. I think he has an idea how to become very rich. Hey, run right on time. I haven't seen one of those in 30 years. Uh, uh, sorry, excuse me. Damn. Don't drive Frank Lawrence. I feel like he's definitely gonna do something bad. A suspended animation kennel. Einstein! Einstein. Oh, good boy, Einstein. Oh, yeah, Doc, listen, my kid showed up. All hell broke loose. Your kid? Great Scott, the sleeping sir. I was afraid of this. Great Scott! Damn! Oh, doc, 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 look at this. Gang yes, jailed. Course, because this hoverboard incident has now occurred, Griff now goes to jail. History. Future history has now been altered, and this is the proof. Let's go get Jennifer and go home. <gasps> What's this? Uh oh. Fifty what? years of sports statistics. The harm in bringing back a little info on the future. Place a couple bets. Mark, I didn't invent the time machine for financial gain. But I mean, it's a bonus. Perhaps even an answer to that universal question: Why? Hey, Doc, I'm all for that. What's wrong with making a few bucks? Yeah, Doc is a bonus. Put this in the trash. Great Scott! Great Scott! Fly, Jennifer Jane Parker, 3793 Oak. Take her home. To take her home to your future home. You mean I'm going to see where I live? Yeah. I'm going to see myself as an old man. No, 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 Marty. That could result in a oh, great Scott. Coming face to face with herself cause a chain reaction that would unravel the very fabric of the space time continuum and destroy the entire universe. <sighs> Granted, that's a worst case scenario. Let's just hope she fades. I finally know that there is no Scott in this movie. He's a weasel. You are a weasel. Doc Brown invented a time machine. Nothing but a breeding ground for tranks, lobos, and zip heads. Yeah, they ought to tear this whole place down. I don't... Okay, I, I I will just assume that zip heads and hobos and all of these other are, are bad people. Just take it easy and you'll be fine. And be careful in the future. The future? Yeah, she definitely has to be careful now in the future. Beautiful views 24 hours a day. You're tuned to the Scenery Channel. A Scenery Channel? People really think we need a Scenery Channel? I gotta get out of here. I guess she doesn't like the way her future looks like. How do you even open the door without a knob? She's Harry Potter now! Mom, is that you? Is this the actor in a wig and makeup? Is it? I, I don't want to insult anyone, but... Yes, it's definitely the actor. Why should you hire more actors when I can do more roles? You sexy beast! Mom, I can't let him think I'm chicken. chicken. Mm. You're right. Well, you're right. This dare, uh, prove to me you're not chicken. I find them so childish. We can't risk you running into your older self. Come on, Heine. Heine? So I got such a good boy, Einstein. I bet this guy wants to steal the car. Okay, I want channels 18, 24, 63, 987. I love multitasking. Okay. This. Lydia. Marty plays four roles. Marty, Marty the son, Marty the daughter, and Marty the father. Do not abandon the car. Do not abandon the car. Oh my god, that's genius. A dog that walks itself? We failed him. We failed the creator of these movies with our incompetence in the future. They already thought about this and we didn't manage to make it. Disappointment. Dad, telephone, it's needles. Dad, it's for you. Good for this actor. He, he was really invested in this role. And if it doesn't work, needles, I could get fired. It's Why do you have two ties? Two ugly ties. 
Unless you want everyone in the division to think you. A chicken. chicken. Nobody calls me chicken needles. Nobody. You're telling me that with one word, chicken, you get people to do everything? Scans. I'm in. Fujitsu-san, konnichiwa. McFry. McFry? You are terminated. Terminated? No. Fired. I'm fired. Well, I guess you're fired, but hey, you're not a chicken. Welcome home, Jennifer. You're both weak, old and young. But I think I will, I will probably do the same. Ooh, he forgot half cane there. Let's get back to 1985, and then I'm gonna destroy the time machine. What about all that stuff about humanity? Where we're going and why? I don't think humanity needs time travel. Marty. I need brace yourselves for temporal displacement. Flash banged. Are we back? Jesus. We're back. Okay. Well, until now, all good. Let's see the damage uh, the robot grandpa did. Let's put her in the swing. Then I'll take you home and you can come back in your truck and wake her. You should be able to convince her that it was all a dream. Wait a minute. We're just going to leave her here on the floor. Don't worry, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. Lions and states with a lot of dogs. Are we sure we're back? Didn't he said he wanted to go back 85? Because I saw on the clock written 55, but in the same time, I'm quite blind, so don't mind me. What the hell? Any <laughs> <laughs> trouble? Well, you got trouble now, you piece of shit. Someone is a fan of Michael Jackson. I get kick butt first, ask questions later. This is a past, past, future, present, very, that looks very grim. Oh yeah, yeah, newspapers are a great way to see what year we are in. Okay, 85, we are in 85. It can't be, drop it. Oh my God, are you, Willing to shoot someone because they touched your paper? Mr. Strickland, it's, it's, it's me, sir. It's Marty. School, sir. I've never seen you before in my life, but you look to me like a slacker. Hey, Strickland! What the hell? Get off my porch! I always wanted to say that. Welcome to the city of hell. It looks fun? But dangerous. And how a trip to the racetrack on his 21st birthday made him a millionaire overnight. And no one was curious. Passion as he searched for true love. Merlin. Happiest moment as in 1973 he realized his love. Lorraine Baines. His mom. <laughs> there you go, Sonny. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. They just bonked him. They bonked him. Uh. Mom, is that you? It's Marty. You've been asleep for almost two hours. You're safe and sound now. Back on the good old 27th floor. 27th floor! Ah! 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 Oh, yes, it's me, Marty. Are you all right? I'm fine. Something happened. You're so... Plasticky. Big. The mom always managed to shock, shock us somehow. My father. You're supposed to be in Switzerland, you little son of a bitch! My father! Did you get kicked out of another boarding school? On all three of them? Throw the glass! The least we can do with all that money is provide a better life for our children! He's a butthead just like his old man was. Don't you dare speak that way about George! You're not even half the man he- You tell him! You wanna take a poke at me? Yes, I wanna take one. <gasps> oh, this dude! That's it! I'm leaving. Gonna pay for your cosmetic surgery, Lorraine. You were the one who wanted me to get these these things. Watermelons. Well, maybe you'd like to have all three of your kids behind bars, just like your brother Joey. Poor Joey. Joey is in jail in every timeline. You win. I'll stay. Punch him in the nose at least. I would have at least punched him in the face. How can you leave Dad for him? 
see Dad. Marty, are you feeling all right? Where's my father? Where's George McFly? Dad? My father is in the same place he's been for the past 12 years. Dad? Oak Park Cemetery. George Douglas McFly. This beef guy, he's gonna have some beef with me. Can't be. April I'm first. afraid it is happening, Marty, all of it. I went to the public library to try to make sense out of all the madness. Shot. He got shot. It's like we're in hell or something. No, it's Hill Valley, although I can't imagine hell being much worse. Time continuum has been disrupted, creating this new alternate reality. English, Doc. Here, here, here. Let me, let me illustrate. Explain for the stupid people in the back, please. Thank you. Imagine that this line represents time. Okay, that's time. Easy. Prior to this point in time, somewhere in the past, the timeline skewed into this tangent, creating an alternate 1985. Yes, okay. So you have to go even more back in time. Recognize this? It's the bag the sports book came in. I know, because the receipt was still inside. I found them in the time machine, along with this. Beef! Great Scott! Biff got the sports book, stole the time machine, went back in time, and gave the book to himself here. And Biff made his first million betting on a horse race because he had all the race results in the sports almanac. Son of a bitch stole my idea! It was a great idea, I have to admit. The whole thing is my fault if I hadn't bought that damn book. That's all in the past. You mean the future? Whatever! It demonstrates why the time machine must be destroyed. Well, you can't destroy it now, you have to go and fix this. Right, so we go back to the future. We can't. Time, it will be the future of this, this yeah. reality. So you have to go back in time. This has happened to me. Oh my god, he's in a cuckoo hospital. Our only chance to repair the present is in the past. I understood the assignment. We have to find out the exact date, how, where, and when. I'll ask him. Westerns. I watched my first western, western tom tombstone. I even got a hat, a cowboy hat. Bulletproof vest. <laughs> great flick. Great freaking flick. <laughs> Yo, hey, what the hell are you doing in here? Party's over, Biff. You should have throw like a toaster or uh, something electric in there. It's a little matter we need to talk about. Gray's Sports Almanac. We know! Party's over. Start talking, kid. What else you know about that book? First you tell me how you got it. How, where, and when. I would have approached a different, uh, different way. I would have tended that I'm interested in him and want to know more about his success. November without... 12th, 1955. That uh, was when. But he's kind of stupid, so... I just picked my car up from the shop because I'd rolled it in a drag race a few days early. I thought you crashed into a manure truck. How do you know about that? He was there. This crazy old codger with a cane shows up. He says he's my distant relative. I don't see any resemblance. Don't you see the crazy? Like to be rich. So I said, sure. Fun me. He says, this book will tell me the outcome of every sporting event till the end of the century. All I have to do is bet on the winner and I'll never lose. There is a lot of print around this house. He said, someday a crazy wild-eyed scientist or a kid may show up asking about that book. And if that ever happened... Shoot them! I never thought it would be you. What the hell is that? Well, he's quite good at avoiding bullets, I'll have to admit. Who designed these stairs? Jesus. No. Go ahead, kid. Jump. What about the police, Biff? They're gonna match up the bullet with that gun. Ken, I own the police. They couldn't match up the bullet that killed your old man. You son of a... I mean, we knew, right? We were, we, we were uh, thinking. Is there the flying car? Is it the flying car? Hello, it's me on the flying car. <laughs> Knockout by door. You're not gonna believe this. We 
gotta go back to 1955. I don't believe it. Let's go. It could mean that that point in time inherently contains some sort of cosmic significance. On the other hand, it could just be an amazing coincidence. Uh, there, there, there is no such thing as coincidences. Damn. Oh. Gotta fix that thing. All right, time circuits on. What do you mean, time circuits on? Doc, what about Jennifer? What about Einstein? We can't just leave him here. Jennifer okay. and Annie will be fine. And they will have absolutely no memory of this horrible place. That's uh, good to know. What if we don't succeed? We must succeed. You have no choice. Your dad is dead. You know, you, you have stuff to fix. I like this, a throwback. He parked here for the very first time as well. I mean, it's like I was just here yesterday. <laughs> you were here yesterday, Marty. You were. Sometime today. Old Biff will show up to give young Biff the almanac. We must let Old Biff believe he succeeded so that he'll leave 1955 and bring the DeLorean back to the future. Yes. Biff is gone. Grab the almanac any way that you can. Okay. That's a plan. Here's some binoculars and a walkie-talkie so we can keep in contact. That way we don't risk anyone else stealing the time machine accidentally running into my other self. self. Other self. Yes. There are now two of me here and there are two of you here. True. Remember the lightning bolt at the top tower? Imagine being three pieces. Chaos. Emergency money. Be prepared for all monetary possibilities. Get yourself some 50s clothes. Check, Doc. Something That's inconspicuous! Nice. Doc, come in, Doc. This is Marty, over. It's called, it's, I cannot pronounce that word. It's conspicuous. I'm going to get my car, Grandma! <laughs> He's gonna kick that into existence. Go get it! Wow, your character is so surprising, Beef. <laughs> Mr. Sandman. The manure. You remember that? Yeah, so basically he remembers the shit. Manure is just a very fancy word. If it doesn't matter how you look on the exterior, because your interior is manure. You better wear nothing at all. Biff, look, oh, Biff, somebody already asked me to the dance. Who? Huh. That bug George McFly? I'm going with Calvin Klein, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna marry you someday, Lorraine! You always did have a way with women. Yeah, very. The hell out of my car, old man! If you want to marry that girl, Biff? I can help make it happen. Just get in the car, butthead. You know how to do that. Nobody can start this car but me. Today's your lucky day. I'll go get this car. I'll kill you. I guess you just pay three hundred dollars for nothing. It cost me three hundred bucks. You're gonna make me rich. <laughs> this book. This book tells the future. It tells the results of every major sports event till the end of the century. And I'm giving it to you. Can someone come from the future and give me you this make book like too? a tree and get out of here. It's leave, you idiot. Make like a tree and leave. You sound like a damn fool when you say it wrong. Now, now I got this line as well, guys. All you got to do is bet on the winner and you'll never lose. Ah, now you're take a look at it. Okay. <gasps> oh my you God. Fool. <sighs> never leave this book laying around. Don't, don't you have a safe... Okay, we really need to get that book now. But at least we have a plan. We take the book, we take the car, we go back. We just delete this whole timeline. Oh. Aren't usually American garages connected to the house as well? So you guys have like a door or something? I told you, Grandma, I'm going to the dance! Marty is uh, not really suspicious whatsoever. You just missed him. Doc. Doc, come in. Come in, Doc. You're telling me that he doesn't hear you in the back of his car? Great. Great Scott. Great Scott. Oh, yes. 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 They are here. They are building the... The, the, the lightning teleporter. <laughs> Marty, you must be extremely careful not to run into your other self. Remember, your mother is at that exact same dance with you. Yeah, the mother is with Calvin Klein. You must not let your other self see you. The consequences could be disastrous. Excuse me, sir. <clears throat> yes, you with a hat. Be a pal, hand me a five-eighths inch wrench out of that toolbox. Five-eighths? Don't you mean three-quarters? 
You're right. Of course he's right. You're conducting some sort of weather experiment. That's right. How did you know that? It'd be one hell of a storm. Well, thanks. Nice talking to you. Maybe we'll bump into each other sometime. Let's hope not. Let's hope not. Now I'm just thinking that if in the first movie this actually happened or not. I don't think it did. Please forgive, forget, forget the book. He's stupid, but apparently he's not that stupid. Oh, Lala! We should smash him in the head somehow. That will incapacitate him and we can definitely take the book then. Mm. Stealthy ninja! You need to grow a few more centimeters for that, I guess. Well, 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 Mr. Tannen. Sports, statistics, interesting subjects. Homework, Tannen? No, it ain't homework, because uh, I ain't at home. <laughs> You've got a real attitude problem, you know that, Tannen? Just watch it. Bum! You're a bum! And he got the book. Okay, okay, he got the book? Okay, okay. He's, he's making himself some uh, happy tea. Look how happy he is with his happy tea. Oh, that you're next to the bell. Put your hand next to the bell. For sure. For sure, Ow. I would scream internally as well. Oh yeah, throw it in the garbage. Throw it, throw it. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Nice, nice, nice. Yes! No! No! Oh, oh no! Doc! Doc! Hey, you! Doc, I'm in trouble! I blew it! Where's the book? I don't Biff must still have it with him! All I got is the damn cover! Then where's Biff? I don't know! Stop! Of course you know where he is. You've been here. Of course! I got one chance! My old man's about to deck Biff! And you have front seats. Okay, buddy, let's back up now, huh? A little bit of room, okay, a little bit of air. What's CPR? You! <laughs> Doc, success, I got it. Thank goodness. As soon as I reload the fusion generator, I'll meet you on the roof. It's him. Hey, he's in disguise. Guys, what's that? <laughs> That thing has to stop working, really. Okay, I am a very bad driver, but he's worse. He definitely likes staying under desk, under tables. I don't know, but when he gets down, we're gonna nail him. How the hell he changes clothes so fast? <laughs> Magic! Money, come in! Listen, this guy's chasing me to the gym and they're gonna jump! Then get out of there! No, the second me. Yeah. Miss the lightning bolt of the clock tower, you won't get back to the future. We'll have a major paradox. Yes. They had a little bit more music in this uh, movie than in the previous one. We had even some Michael Jackson. Marty, second Marty, is pulling his weight in this movie hard. Drop it again. Double trouble. Okay, Kelvin. I'm just gonna call this Marty and uh, the other Marty, I'm just gonna call him Kelvin. Hey, butthead. Jesus, beef. You think that stupid disguise would get by me? Let's have it out. You and me. Right now. Okay. No thanks. What's the matter? Are you chicken? Are you chicken? Just pass this chicken. Just learn something from all of this. Chick 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 chick. I'm chicken. I'm rooster. I'm a hen. Calls me chicken. You're a knockout chicken. You steal my stuff. Oh. Oh. And this one's for my car. Oh. 
There is nothing wrong with being a chicken. We really need that book, otherwise all of this mission was for nothing. The hoverboard! Nice! Oh. You just need to to, to to grab it. Grab it! Okay, 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 alright. It's not that bad. Tunnel. No, no, that's bad. I guess that's gonna cost you way more than $300. He saw him, he saw him. Wow, wow, wow. Close, a close one. Okay, oh, wow, 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 wow. All right. That was nice. Well, let's just hope that this hoverboard is going. Push with your little leg! Push! Oh no! Manure again! You got shitted on twice! Manure! I hate Manure! Stop! Is everything alright? Over! Trying to make a long approach from the south! Have you got the book? In my hand, Doc! You got it in my hand! Burn it! You, you have to do what's right. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Oh my god, he's actually doing it, okay! Stuff has been fixed. That means everything's back to normal, right? Shut. You have to go back. So let's go home. Yeah, right yeah, back. yeah. Get her asses back to the future. Uh, storm is coming, guys. Okay. Move. You don't want to get struck by lightning. Oh my God, he just jinxed it. Doc. So what now? The doc's gone. Maybe it's him. Huh? Is your name Marty McFly? Sure. Yeah? I've got something for you. A letter. Okay. That's impossible. Who the hell are you? Western Union. Actually, a bunch of us at the office were kind of hoping maybe you could shed some light on the subject. So we've had that envelope in our possession for the past 70 years. Did you say 70 years? Yeah, I mean, what's happening now? I am so curious about this letter now. It's from the dock! Dear Marty, if my calculations are correct, you will receive this letter immediately after you saw the DeLorean struck by lightning. Yeah. First, let me assure you that I'm alive and well. I've been living happily these past eight months in the year 1885. September 1885! Okay. He's gonna take the old dog to go and try to find the older, older dog? I'm, I'm not sure, but this is where it kind of hints. I like it that they are setting up for the next movie as well. They did it with the first one. <gasps> Okay, relax. Oh, I know you This guy doesn't get a one break. To be continued. A few words. I feel like it definitely set up the third movie for sure and 
is the exact same way they did it for the first one. But for the first one, uh, Doc returned for Marty, and in the second one, Marty returned for Doc. I love that they kept the same pace, the, the, the same feeling to the movie. I don't feel like it was as good and that's because i mean they did reuse what made the first movie great like the the expression with the leaves and great scott and you know kelvin klein and like things here and there which made the first movie great they reuse it in the second one so i i think they understood what the audience liked with the first one i feel like the second one was was still good but maybe like a half star less than the first because it didn't have the same impact the same what i did love about the second was the creativity the clothing the the cyberpunkish vibe the the hoverboards the flying cars these these things i really appreciated in the second movie a lot of creativity a lot of how people thought 2015 would look like. We are in 2024, it doesn't look like that, so. <laughs> then I enjoyed it, I enjoyed this movie, and I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. So if you did, consider subscribing to the channel. You wanna see the full length reaction, there is a Patreon. I hope you enjoy your time here with me, and I definitely do hope to see you on my next reaction. In the meantime, guys, have an amazing day, and see you next time. Bye-bye.